so excited that we are here today. We are here with the amazing Angela Jackson, who is Senior Vice President of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, easy for me to say, with Athene, and also Grant Kvalheim, and Grant is the CEO and President of Athene. So thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having us, Kathleen. Thanks for having us, Kevin. So this is amazing. We have here two incredible leaders in our community. You know, tell us about Athene. You are a giant West Des Moines Chamber champion, member, supporter of not just the region, you know, not just West Des Moines, but beyond. So tell us a little bit about Athene. You have a giant workforce that's really, really incredible. Of course, you hire the best talent, the best people, uh, hence Angela Jackson working for your organization. So tell us a little bit about Athene. So, you know, we, we're trying to help people retire better, simply put, right? We, uh, we do that through uh, the sale of, of annuities, fixed indexed annuities. We also take on corporate pensions and fulfill their obligations. Um, but a big part of Athene is we feel we ought to be a positive force in the communities where we, uh, where our employees live and, and in the, for the businesses that surround Athene. It's, it's to the extent that there is a prosperous local business community, that's a quality of life issue for our employees. So um, it all starts with uh, we got to do a great job for our customers, right? If we're not fulfilling our business mission. Some of the other things we want to do about offering great jobs, great careers, uh, really being focused on diversity and inclusion in our workforce, all those things we want to do, it's got to start with fulfilling our business mission. Because if we're not doing that, we don't get to anything else. Well, I love this. Well, Angela is in a fairly new role, I believe, uh, heading up diversity, equity, inclusion for Athene. So, Angela, tell us a little bit about your new role and... Uh, and what impacts you're expecting to make? Well, you know, this is a wonderful opportunity to do some good. That's why I'm here and help really build upon some of the things that Athene has done for quite some time to increase diversity in the workforce, to deepen our education here, as well as build a culture um, that really fosters inclusion and belonging. That's what we're doing every day. And it's just an exciting adventure because there's always a new opportunity to really uplift the profile of different um, people and to really make sure that people understand this is a wonderful place to work and we retain the great workforce that we have. I love that. Well, we are so glad, Angela, you're so heavily involved in the West Des Moines Chamber. You're leading our DEI committee. You're a leader at Athene. I, I don't know when you sleep, you, you're you know, involved in so many things. And then here we are working uh, very hard on the, on the Black and Brown Business Summit. So, so tell us about your involvement in the summit. You're a giant sponsor. Thank you for your generosity and hosting the uh, limited in-person event. Of course, we're keeping everybody super safe because of COVID, but, but tell us about your, uh, your involvement with the Black and Brown Business Summit. Well, we've got a facility where we can have it. However many people are welcome here. We started coming back to the office last June. So for us, hosting an event and having it be in person to the extent that we can is, is a natural thing for us. Um, you know, when I was approached, we, as we've already talked a bit about, we want to be supportive of local businesses. We tried last summer when, when it was tough for restaurants. We gave all of our employees gift cards as a, as a way to try to support businesses when uh, those local restaurants were having a tough time. And you know, particularly, we also want to support greater participation of African-Americans and Hispanics in our local business community. They're underrepresented. And this is a way for us to try to help change that. This event, we hope, will be a, a start for a, a more African-American and, and Hispanic-owned businesses in this, in this area. Well, I love it. Well, Grant, you're obviously a huge ally, and we were so proud to be involved in that restaurant support uh, event this summer. And uh, so thank you for that amazing idea, you and your team. Uh, again, you hire great talent because a lot of great ideas come from great people, right? So uh, so that was, that was super spectacular. So, um, so tell us maybe 
uh, you know, something that you'd like to, to mention that I haven't asked about Athene's commitment to diversity, equity, inclusion, and, and maybe some, some long range goals that you might have? Yeah, so, you know, I, I, we're trying to do things that when we come up with new ideas that are sustainable. And, uh, and, and when we think about that, I think it, it, it really comes from having grassroots support of our employees. And, and we've kind of coalesced around the idea of providing educational opportunities for underserved communities. And we've had longstanding uh, commitment to things like Stuff the Bus and Coats and Boots and other programs like that. But this year we've added to those in terms of a, a college scholarship program at our Bermuda headquarters and also a college scholarship program here in Des Moines. Um, you know, we, we've focused more on getting a, a diverse group of summer interns. We're doing a lot more to try to just attract a more diverse uh, talent pool into the funnel of potential employees. And then also providing uh, what we call sponsorship, uh, which is a new program to embrace uh, a, a targeted group of employees, not just with a mentor, but with like a support system at several levels within the organization. And uh, it's, it's the first group we're putting through that program, but the early results are quite positive. So we're just thinking of a lot of ideas. We've done, um, we hired a pay equity consultant a couple of years ago. We're now internalizing to do that every year and make sure we're treating every one of our employees fairly, giving everyone equal opportunity and access to the great careers that are available at Athene. And uh, again, we're just starting to, collect that data and, and uh, progress those programs. But uh, we feel great about where we are and uh, great about the, the future, not only of a theme, but you know, when you're in an area like uh, West Des Moines or Greater Des Moines and unemployment is low and the economy is booming and it creates a lot of opportunities to do the right thing and, and benefit from it in your, in your company. And we're really excited about the future of a theme. We're excited about the future of this area, West Des Moines. Well, it sounds like you have a lot of best practices that other companies may be calling you after they see this and asking you, how are you doing that? How are you doing those cool programs? So that's neat. It, it sounds like you're adopting a lot of cool things. I think a lot of other businesses may want to adopt themselves. And as they go through this journey of how they can help these minority business owners and, and minorities in general. So yeah, that's, that's huge. Angela, is there anything you'd like to add? I think Grant hit the you know the nail on the head. We really are at a place um, at a thing to do wonderful things because of the opportunities that are before us. There's a journey, and the journey is because we are committed to do it together. We're not doing it in a silo, and this is not an ad hoc thing. This is something that's like he mentioned, sustainable, where we're developing talent. We want people to be really embraced and feel included and we want to retain the great talent that we're developing. We are not in this situation where we're just saying something and putting putting window dressing on it. So that's why it's so important and grateful that Athene is committed in hosting the Black and Brown Business Summit. This is something that our community needs. West Des Moines is a proud community. It's a diverse community and it needs to have diverse businesses um, that reflect the diversity in the community. I, lo I love that. Well, everybody wants to work for Athene. You know, <laughs> ask it's like, where do you want to work? I want to work with Athene. So uh, yeah, we're hiring, we're hiring. All right. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. All right. We'll send everybody to your, uh, to your website. I love to see everybody with their t-shirts on Grant, Angela. Yep. Show off your t-shirts. We love, of course, our fundraiser where all the net proceeds goes to Jules Academy and NAACP. So it's neat. And that's one of Angela's brainchilds again, you know, Angela is really an incredible person forced to be reckoned with and all of your efforts, Angela, guiding us for the summit and our committee, the chamber. We just, we're so grateful that you spend your time with us, Angela, you're making us stronger. So Grant, you've got a fabulous person uh, uh, at your at your organization, so. so. Well, we know it takes a team, right? It's it not one person, it takes a team. Does. Does. 
Well, we love it so much. So thank you so much again for all your support for West Des Moines, the city, the community, and, and the region at large, and the Black and Brown Business Summit, and, and couldn't be more grateful for, uh, for all your help. So thank you. Great to speak with you, Catherine. Thanks. Thank you so much for having us. Have a good one. Bye-bye.